old Mellifont Abbey and also with the Irish language shown. Okay, that's not the Abbey, well <laughs> It's, uh, the Abbey's up there. What a peaceful contrast after all the driving in the traffic in modern Ireland. And, uh, ancient monastic island. Oops, someone else is just coming. That's not too soon. This been used to having these places to myself. There's a little stream, I don't know what the name of it is. But it provided uh, the sound of running water for the, the monks and uh, possibly the water supply as well and uh, maybe the sanitation as well. the visitor centre is closed. Well, just after I arrived, a whole pile of guys showed up. I think there's a tour party down there. Get away from the tour parties. There's another horse chestnut, nice horse chestnut there. The tour parties are up there. And of course, that, I'm afraid I've been spoiled. Yeah, this is the third abbey I've visited, and the other two abbeys I had to myself. But I think this was the most famous abbey in uh, in Ireland, Old Mellifont Abbey. That's what the abbey looked like in the old days before it was uh, became a ruin. Beautiful location. As I say, the monks knew what they were doing when they established these uh, the highly scenic locations and uh, also uh, rich, uh, rich agriculture. This, uh, this was the, how the abbey looked like. I can't see because there's a reflection in the. Uh, that's what the abbey looked like in the 15th and 16th, 15th and 17th century. It was an ex very extensive. Apparently, all the destruction has been wrought since the 17th century. Mellifont in the 17th century. Perfect weather. the most famous, most extensive abbey in Ireland, but it's, uh, except for a few uh, standing sections, is largely destroyed. So what it looked like back when it was destroyed, or when it was a working monastery. This appears to have, uh, this appears to be fairly complete, this, uh, but the uh, ribbed roofs, and uh, yes, this, is, this is the most complete building in the place, but it's <laughs> closed, can't get in there. Well, as I say, it hasn't actually officially opened yet, it doesn't open until the end of May, I guess that's when the crowds arrive. Okay, I just uh, 
messed up with the photography had the camera uh, <laughs> switched uh, the wrong way round so I'm going to have to look for another quick uh, walk around I'll just uh, point out the base I just these columns shows the size of the alley as it once existed because of the uh, look at the size of them the, the, just the, the base of the columns it survived but uh, how huge the abbey was at one time. Um, most of the abbey has disappeared, it's in ruins, but some parts have uh, survived. Just have a quick look. This is, this is uh, the, the only uh, section of the abbey as far as I can see. It's got, uh, it has, hasn't been completely destroyed. There it is there. It's got a red roof. This has got uh, carved, uh, the carved archways are still uh, lavabo, the lavabo. This, uh, this here has uh, yeah, survived nicely. Okay, I... okay, that's the gatehouse in the distance. That's how the abbey looked like at one time. Very substantial structure, and uh, when the vast majority of the Irish uh, inhabitants were illiterate, uh, well, I think uh, I'm not sure if they actually appreciated these monasteries being uh, uh, erected. Uh, in the midst of their, uh, well, uh, I imagine they were farmers. More pictures, 13th century reconstruction. Huge, huge complex, impressive. Sister, sister, see an order. Founded 1142. Cistercian order. Uh, well, I've been round to Bective Abbey. There's quite a few abbeys. And, well, uh, over a hundred scattered over Europe, Western Europe. The uh, tourist office was closed. Doesn't open until the end of May. Okay, set in the valley of the Mattock River and uh, secluded place. Okay, I'll just uh, go up here. There seems to be another, some kind of a structure up here. Then I'll head home. I'm about a 45 minute drive if the traffic isn't too heavy. Curious feature, a little tombstone, gravestone in that uh, little fent walled off patch. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know what this is, some kind of a, maybe a chapel. What's that? Another tombstone. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. I'll head back now.